What an intro to a video. Oh, did you see it? The eyeballs. <laughs> eyeballs. Balls of the eyes. Guess what? Nope. Guess what? Oh, lighting's gone poo. It's because we've got glary calls. All right, so. Jack's holding a brush in the hair. Hair? Air. But, it's time, it's time. We've decided, front bumper. We decided to do the front bumper first, instead of the side skirts. We've gone for the hardest route. The back bumper is there. So you might be like, wait, what? We saw that on the car in the last one. Well, we're being time efficient. So while that's drying, we're gonna start the front. See, see what's happening right now. See what's happening. We're doing production at its finest and moving forward as quick as possible. So this is what we want. We wanna get this car done. Like I said to you, we're not messing about. We wanna get it finished, done, painted. Still waiting for somebody to paint the car, by the way. <laughs> Still. So, yeah, we want to get it done. So what we're going to do is take the front arches off the car. We can't mold the front arches in until we get the wheels, which should probably be coming maybe about the time this video is going up, to be fair. So it may be coming, or I may have already got them at this time. So we're going to redo the front arches like we did the rear, put the slits in. But for now, we're going to sort the front bumper out, get that sorted, get it all done, get it like the back bumper. The person who paints it is probably still going to have to do some prep on these bumpers because they have their own ways of doing it. Uh, they're going to have to sand them anyway to scuff it all up and everything. So. It's just one of them things where if we high build prime it, it's a bit of the work taken out, filling and stuff like that. So, you know, we ain't body professionals or anything like that. So, yes, so please bear that in mind. First problem, already, before we've even done anything, we use some cheap bolts just to hold the arches on. Forgot about how long it was gonna take. So each bolt is like rusted into the rivet nut. It's pulled that rivet nut out, which is not very good. And that one down there, which is not very good. So, we'll good start, it. good start, we'll fix it, but we're making more work for ourselves. So let's not do that, let's just get this car done, get it finished, get it painted, let's drive around and have some fun. Yes, let's go. So I know you probably just saw the cinematic of everything being done, the bumper and everything being taken off, sanded away. But we've kind of just gone back in time very quickly. So I did notice that, obviously we said that we'd put the old bolts in. I just want to show you this. So this is one of the old bolts that's rusted. We've drilled two out on this side as well. This is one that we tested. This has been in for the same amount of time as this. And this one is so much better. These are what we've put in the rear. So we ain't going to have a problem with them. Let's jump back forward in time to when this is off and the bumper is in somewhat other condition. So having big massive brains, at the moment, at this moment, uh, having big massive brains at this moment in time, we've decided that when the front wheels come, we're gonna have problems. <laughs> so how we have to cut out the back bumper and smooth it, I think we're gonna have to do that on the front bumper as well, because it's gonna be in the way. So you can't really see, well you might not see around this side, but here we go. So this section here is going to be in the way. Ow. Uh, if the wheel comes out a little bit further and we're having a bigger profile tyre, this is going to be in the way. So we're thinking of coming from here, around here, and just smoothing that bumper in. Connecting it on the inside as well with a bolt like we did on the back, just with a riv nut and then a screw. Well, Allen key, bolt. We've managed to sand all that but we've got around the edges and everything to do, so the bumper now needs to come off. Yes, it's a bastard. Is it as bad as the back? Yes and no, because <laughs> we didn't want to do this in the first place, but it's not as bad, because we've got the right um, equipment now. So we still got to do a lot by hand, unfortunately. So what we're going to do as well, in the meantime, Jack's going to start taking that bumper off. Um, these holes here on the bumper, so where the rivnuts are, if you remember at the beginning, they, um, got pulled out, some of them did. That one's fine, the other two on the bottom aren't. What we're actually going to do is we're going to fill these holes in, fiberglass them over, 
You might be like, why? Why? You, you've already just gone through that. Well, because this is why. When it comes to doing these, when we put these on and we put the wheels on, if that needs adjusting, we've then prepped all this bumper, sprayed it and everything else for no damn reason because we're going to have to then redo the holes um, and we fiberglass them, take it all back again, sand it all again. We're going to be basically in a bit of a shit tip. So if we fill these in now, even if it is in the same location, all lucky for us, we'll just have to re-drill it through and put a rivet in, but at least it'll be done and it'll be clean. Whereas if that's not the case, and we do have to adjust these quite high, we're going to have to read all that. So that is the plan. We're going to do the same step on the side skirts as well. When we get down to them, if it does need completely adjusting, we're going to buy some new wings and fit them on, I think. Um, but we'll see. We'll cut it back out again if we have to. We don't know this until we actually get the wheels. So we're literally going to be waiting on the wheels very, very soon. The only thing we can really do after this now after this front bumper is the side skirts. We can't physically do any more. So if we do this prep on this front bumper now, cut that section out, even if it's not needed, it's fine because later on down the line, we want to go with air ride at some point. So it will allow for plenty of space for that. So it's not going to be necessarily for no reason. We'd just rather do the leg work now than messing around with it, you see. So, and just like that, the bumper is off the car. Your reflection in my wine glass. That's when I look away Can't stand and think about losing your fine ass How the fuck I let you slip away Life for the party but I'm dead inside Kill my vibes, it was genocide Hard to act like I've been alive I'm trying to find where I identify One time for the girl that got away Two times for the bub I'm about to spray Three times for the power that I pray to Are you up there? Can you hear me? I know I fucked up it's clear, see, I'm 22, but I don't act like it clearly. <laughs> and all this shit is a mirage. I'm just rapping for a cause. The life, the fame, the life's the game. We break the laws, don't like to change. Want to win you back, but I hate to lose. I know that you're the one, but it's hard yeah, to choose. Oh my God, Jack. The bump is done. We've created a Focus ST. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously you saw from them clips that the primer, <laughs> the high build primer, it's, very bright. it's not the same colour. Um, <laughs> so it is a filler primer. But <laughs> I can't even look at it. <sighs> I, can't, I just can't, just, just. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Look at it! Wow! Do you know what's great though? Oh my god! What's great about that? Come on, tell me please. The finish is better than it was. Yeah, the finish is a lot better than it actually was when we bought it. Yeah. And... I'm happy with myself. Yeah, so in the cinematic, this is what we was, was going to explain. So in the cinematics, you probably noticed it was actually putting rivnuts in the top. Now, from factory, these are actually held on by little plastic, um, what do you call them? Push, push clips? clips. Yeah. yeah. So what we did is we put some rivet nuts in there. And we've actually put some bolts in. It looks so much cleaner. We are going to get some nice different coloured bolts for that. So it's going to look all fresh. We still need to just drill up here and join it through. But you also saw us putting the rivet nut there. We just can't do it because we're waiting for that seam sealer to dry. But you can see here we've took a lot more out. Could you just push that bumper up a little bit for me, Jack? So you can see we took a lot out. It's not going to sit properly yet. But no, but just hold it somewhere. So there, we took a lot more out to ha allocate for the wheel. This is why we did it, because if you remember, it was sat like here. So we've ma made ourselves a lot more room there and gave ourselves a lot more leeway with putting a bigger wheel on. Again, air ride later on. It's going to be banging for it. So that's good. Just look at the colour difference. Front bumper back bumper wow wow so also in between you'll be like no side skirts no because we're already doing it over there they're already getting done like we said we're doing, being productive but you'll see that in the next one because we're being productive in that one as well because technically we're doing the bumper and the side skirts at the same time and being productive on both parts of the car to you're trying to figure out how to say this <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing I just okay we was productive all right so it's the same this side we've took it all out we've got a nice bit of uh, 
radial going on there, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so we're ready for the front wheels on the front nearly. We've just got the side skirts to prep in the next one. That They're nearly actually done. They're nearly ready for paint. Um, yeah, this bit's going to get welded up with some rust down here. So this is going to get taken out. That's going to get welded. I'm going to ask the guy who paints it to do that, if he can. Um, we're going to get there, slowly, slowly. We're getting there. The outside's going to get painted. Obviously, we do want to turbo this car. We want to forge it and turbo it. We're going to have some fun for it with it first before we do that. We're going to save up, make sure we've got all the parts on the shelf ready to do it. When the engine does come out, we're then going to start painting the engine main stuff, aren't we? We're going to do all that stuff after. We're not going to double man it just for the sake of painting it. It's going to look shit in there for a while, but we're going to have fun with it. So that's fine. I'm fine with that. We're still running, obviously, the stage one map with the crackle, wild crackle on it. So. It's funny, though. It's Yes. You can't see them holes anymore. I know you can't see anything. So, like we said, we smoothed off these holes that was in the bumper that we did. Bear in mind we've never fitted a body kit before. Never done any really work like this before. I don't think we're doing too, too bad of a job, if I'm honest with you. No. Like maybe there's not, everything is not perfect. Maybe there's some things that's not right. Maybe we could have done the rear arches a little bit different. Don't have a welder, but hey ho, it is what it is. Um, but I don't think we've done too bad. I actually don't think we've done too bad. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one.